Why did they call it a receipt? Because failure rehearsal started to be eating. Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope everything's great for you. Welcome to my channel. Give me your biggest thumb up and let's go. Today I'm going to talk about a subject that makes me a little bit nervous. Receipts. I'm going to talk about the receipts in the third and fourth year of the engineering school where I am in. And also the fifth and last year. So, I don't think I'm a genius. I guess. So yes, I had to take receipts two years ago. They were done remotely, so I was comfortable at my home to pass the exams. There were also receipts for the first semester, which were in my old accommodation that was nothing more than a student residence. A really an attractive residence. Anyway, I'm going to tell you how I managed to get in the fourth year despite my many receipts. There was a really, really difficult subject. I couldn't just get it. I just couldn't get it. Even when I focused on it for several hours and once I thought I really understood how it worked, it didn't seem so complicated, but I only thought I understood because I failed the exam and I had to retake it. So here we are. During the receipt of this subject, since it was remote, I asked someone from my class group to help me doing it. So we called each other. <laughs> Once I received the egg then, I went to print it and quickly returned to my desk. Just the first few questions I was completely lost. I was trying to understand but the person who was with me on the phone was thinking out loud. So thanks for contrasting Papu. <laughs> Shut up! So thanks for concentrating. I did the exercises on my own and so did he. Then I asked him what he'd found and I didn't have anything like him at all. Then there were barely 10 minutes left to submit the assignment, so I sent it. Okay. Okay. In my head, it was over. I really thought I completely messed this test. And that because of that I was going to have to repeat the year. But in the end I passed! I don't know how because we never received the grades, nor the copies, nor any corrections after taking these tests. So I finally managed to validate my third year and move on to the fourth year as planned. <laughs> Except, of course, it's not over. As I said at the beginning of the video, I also had to retake some exams last year, in the fourth year. And this time, I had not one, no two, no three, but six exams to retake. Yes, you heard it right. Six exams of about two hours each to retake in less than a week. At that time, I had left my shadowed student residence. And it took me some time to find an apartment. So a friend kindly packed me up and I was able to rent her parents' room who were not there at that time. So I had to work hard to catch up for my mistakes. Every day I worked as much as possible and from time to time... Yes, I almost won! I almost won! I almost won! You understood that I couldn't concentrate for very long, for very long, for very long. I'm not concentrate right now either. You understand that I couldn't concentrate well for very long. I tried to remember my lessons and understand them, despite these loud and piercing disturbances. But of course, I'm someone who is easily distracted by anything. So when I saw when new YouTube videos from my favorite YouTubers were available, I really wanted to watch them, and I watched them as quick as possible. So I alternated between working and slacking off by watching videos, which sometimes were quite long, but always entertaining. By the way, if you're still watching this video right now thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe and enable the notification bell so after slacking off and working at the same time exam days were approaching and fun fact the house i was at that time was located 25 minutes away from school by foot because yes this time we had to take the exams in person at school and of course with masks which was very annoying in addition to that there were some exams i needed a calculator and of course what did i do I just lost mine! Ah! So I left very early to go and look for one at a friend's place who wanted to lend me his and who lived 15 minutes away but by car this time. So I took a one trip taxi and I feel silly because I could have paid less if I told the taxi to wait for me while I got the calculator. Two hours later I went to school to take my exams and there I really felt like I completely screwed up everything. I even told my mother that I thought I was going to repeat the year. <laughs> and by the way, my mother had a weird chatterbox about this. She told the whole family and her friends that I was going to repeat. Yes, of course he told me that he will repeat the year. Yes, he told me that, oh, oh I have to tell to, uh, to Miriam. Oh, I have to tell her too. 
Hey, okay, uh, let's make a FaceTime. Hey, yards, so you know that my son is just a little... And so, when the whistles came out, I learned via email from the school that it was... NOT FAILED! I passed the fifth year of an engineering school! <laughs> Now we come to the last little story of this video. Recent exam in the fifth year of engineering school. First semester first. So, we did not the same story at all. When I received the email to tell me which exams I would have to retake, and when I saw the schedule, I noticed that I was supposed to take three exams almost back to back, or even time traveling. First exam, 8 a.m., 10 a.m. Second exam, 10 a.m., noon. And third exam, 11.30, noon 30. How could I do that? Unless I had the ability to time travel and duplicate myself, it's physically impossible. I even mentally was the time to review my notes. So I sent an email to the school and guess what they replied? Simply that there was one of the three exams I didn't have to retake. <laughs> I realized that it was much easier than the basics exam. Let's go. Yes, so much the better. But there were some topics that I could have not studied as much. Okay, let's move to the story of the second and the final semester now. Like the last exams I took, I failed them too. I also have receipts exams right now and I have to take them on Tuesday. I'm not really making a video about receipts exam when I know that I have two to pass on Tuesday. And yes, indeed, I'm crazy. Eh? But at least this time there are only two. Even though there is something very annoying about this reset system, it's that the maker take them several weeks or even several months after we fail the exams. I might tell you how it went and you'll find out anyway if I got my engineering degree or if I have to repeat the year. In the meantime, I'm starting my final year internship this year and I hope I'll enjoy not having classes or exams to take. So thank you for watching this video. Please give me your biggest thumb up to support me. Tell me in the comments if you have a high to take some receipts and how it went and of course subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything i'm going to study you now kisses fam